they're more likely to rush to the sound of gunfire. You know, when you get out there and, and you've got guys that you have spent years with, they, they become your family and, and you know that you would go to any length for them to make them safe. Because somebody has to do this and because this country needs this. This, uh, this country needs to be defended. It does take a special sort of type of person. The last thing I want is for somebody to walk away from this contest uh, and say, you know, that, that, that was nothing. I could have done that in my sleep. The winner is going to have to hold a measure of technical expertise combined with a lot of endurance and, uh, and the desire to never stop. Um, it absolutely helps you uh, push your limits. Everything we do as a ranger is finding out where that line is, where your, uh, your body says no and pushing past it and proving to yourself that um, really you're only limited by uh, what you let yourself uh, be limited by. A compassionate heart, a sound mind, a skilled hand, a deadly shot, and yes, a strong back. Shoot, move, communicate, survive, save, and adapt. That's our art and that's our science. There's a standard that you're, you're held to and I think that's why the Ranger Regiment is such a great place to grow up and learn medicine. You need to be physically and mentally and, and know your job well enough to where you can come to something like this and not only be somewhat competitive but possibly win it.